YouTube, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Big E. Hitting y'all up. I'm here today. I'm here in, uh, I'm here in Denton, Denton, Texas. Uh, I got a unload here at, uh, Goodman, uh, AC, uh, AC units today. Um, Take care of housekeeping. Uh, if y'all have not, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you're watching this video, go ahead and hit that old like button. Uh, share it out, comment. You know, do what y'all do. You know, uh, and I like to thank my thank my new subscribers. Everybody that have recently subscribed. I see you and I appreciate you. You know, um, this video here is a little bit different, man. You know, and by the way, we pull away. We've been pulling this weight out here, man, and hustling, trying to get to get this bread. But on another note, sad note, I know y'all seen it to be in the video. Boy Dasher, man, he just he just, he just threw himself out there and he committed suicide, man, and. It saddens me. It saddens me, man. That Dasher did that, man. I don't know what was going on. I don't know why he, he didn't talk to Rudolph or Blitzen, man. And they just they just got through. I mean, they they just finished all that work, man. I know he had the money. I know. I mean, I don't know what he was saddened about, but he he jumped out there and, and decided to end it all. And I'm, in fact, man. In fact, in fact, let's see, let's see, man. We gotta we gotta pour out a little. We gotta pour a little, little water out for the homie. Not too much, not too much, not too much. Not too much. Oh, and we got it. Moment of silence. That's enough. Okay. Uh yeah, Dasher man. I, yeah, as y'all saw, uh Dasher jumped out there and uh Man, he committed suicide. So I was driving. I was in uh, where was I? At? I was in uh, Osage, Osage or Osage Beach, uh, uh, Missouri. I was uh, up there around the Kansas City area, and um, I think I was on Highway. I think it was Highway Seven, and uh, it was, man, he just. Man, he just run out there. I don't know what the deal was, cause I I, 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 I was looking, but uh, I was coming down seven, and seven is it's four lane highway, but you come through these little cities, and I was about to come come into, uh, or I was just leaving a, a little city, I believe. I was leaving it, and um, he just popped out from my left side, left to right. You know, a lot of times. You expect them to come from right to left because they be hanging out over there on the shoulder. But when you see a deer and they coming from the left to right, that means either they came across the highway once and got over in the median and then came back across the, or going back across the highway or they came from the other side of the road because it wasn't trees or anything in, in the median. So, uh, let me let the when the truck's coming through. And I know we've had some sound issues on my last few videos. So we'll let the wind up. But, but yeah, he, uh, he came from uh, left, left to right. So that meant he either came over two, two, uh, two lanes of traffic already or he came from the right and then was trying to go back. But regardless, man, I... I nailed it, man. It, it wasn't nothing really I could do uh, to miss him. In fact, he came out so late, he uh, he he almost ran into me. Versus, in fact, I hope his homies, you know, I hope uh, Rudolph Blitzen, I man, I hope they don't come back on me, man. But he he committed suicide, man. You know, he uh he ran out there and uh it wasn't nothing I could do but hit him. So. Uh, 
for you new drivers or drivers, I mean, when that situation comes out, it's better just to hit him and deal with what damage he does uh, does later to your truck. But wasn't a whole lot I could uh, I could do in that situation. That's the phone. We'll, we'll return that phone call in just a minute. But, but yeah, it's just one of those things that um, it's, it's nothing I could do. You know, I, I hit him, took him out. Um, he did a little bit of damage. Um, what he did was um, he broke the he broke a chunk of the uh, of the bumper off. And then I don't know if it knocked the signal light, my signal light loose, or if it shorted out. But my signal light and park lamp stopped working. And on these Cascadias, if you if you know, it's like an LED that changes colors. So it's all it's the same light, but it's just the LED that changes colors. And I don't know. I don't think you, it's an LED, so I don't think you can change that out. So. They ended up having to replace it uh, because the signal light was a DOT issue and Creek, more than likely, they're not going to let you drive down. They're not going to want you driving down the highway with a, a, a broke bump. I know you see some drivers doing it uh, with some other companies, but Creek ain't one of them companies that's going to let you do that. Uh, so um, I told them what the deal was, uh, asked them if they needed the footage. They didn't say they did. Um, and then I... Uh, I, um, uh, they, they create a file or whatever and notated it, told me I was, I was actually, the good thing about it is I was headed to the terminal anyway, so, um, or I wasn't headed to the terminal, I was headed back to Dallas, to the Dallas area, and my home terminal is in Dallas, so, um, it just, I mean, it, it, it was bad for me because it cost me money. And I'll explain that here in just a second. But at least I was headed, I was already headed home, and it wasn't a situation where I was out on the road and I would have had to go to another terminal, try to get a hotel room and all that. All I did was I went um, I went back home, took put the shop truck in the shop, and just went home. Yeah, slept in my own bed and what have you. And then I just let them know, hey, let me know when it's done. Um, it happened right around, right there around uh, New Year's, so uh, I think it was two days before it was, uh, maybe three days before New Year's. So by the time I got when I hit him, it was a, that that it was three, it was three days before New Year's. It was that night I hit him. The next day, I got back to uh, to, to to Wilmer, and then. Um, Next day was New Year's, so if the truck didn't get fixed. I didn't end up getting back in the truck till after New Year's, so um, I think it was New Year's on a Friday. I think it was I got back in the truck on Sunday, I believe it was. It's, it might have been Saturday. Can't remember now. But regardless, I mean it. It wasn't didn't take them long. I don't think to fix it. I think it was actually done on on the day after, but they didn't let me know. And that's the thing about the shops around here, just to keep keep it 100 with y'all. They take your number down and all that, but if you go home, they don't call you nothing. You have to just keep calling, checking on it. And New Year's Day, uh, they may have gotten it fixed the, the day before New Year's, but they didn't call me and let me know. And I was calling. Uh, I was calling, and of course, that nobody picked up the phone on New Year's. And the day after... When I finally uh, got a hold of them, they said, "Oh, your truck's fixed." So I'm pretty sure they fixed, they got it fixed that night before uh, New Year's. I, they just never called me to tell me. But um, just know um, that when you see a deal like that, man, just hit him, take him out, and uh, save yourself. Because the most important thing is that you go home to your family safely. You know. Um, another thing, so. Since we own that, you got to look at your at the truck at this truck as your equipment. I mean, a lot of a lot of drivers are like, man, this is just a company truck, and a lot of them may not take the best the best care of it. But you got to look at it like this truck is making me money. So 
if this truck is making me money, I got to take care of it. Because if I don't take care of it, then it's going to cost me money. Like, okay, I had just left home when um, that, that was my first load out of the house going up to Missouri. And they just so happens to have me a load coming back down to the, deliver it. At, it was at Home Depot. Okay. In fact, I, I think I'm, I got a, a video on, on me picking up that trailer, but um, which I'll release. But, um, but yeah, I was coming back to the Home Depot in Dallas, which is like five, ten miles away from Wilmer Terminal, and and I live in the same area. So, um, so luckily I was going back home, you know. But at the same time, that was my first load out of out of the house the load back to Dallas was my second load so it, it in essence cost me a couple of days worth of work which of course cost me, me miles on my check and all that so that was something I couldn't avoid but stuff that you can't avoid you know like uh, you know like if you see something you check the engine light come on um, you need to check your fluids make sure you got fluids in your truck and, but mention it to the shop. Don't wait until they leave you out on the road because then it's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you more time and more money. You know, if you got a flat tire or you, you know there's something going on with the tire or something uh, on your truck, don't just run on it till it blow out because you know. I mean, it, it may blow out and, and leave you stranded on the road. You know, keep an eye on your on your equipment because. It's just like what they say about your car. If you take care of your car, your car takes care of you. And this truck is going to take care of you if you take care of it. Okay? So this is just, that was just a tidbit on it, on the equipment. You know, new drivers, try to keep an eye on your equipment and make sure it's up and running, it's in good shape. And if you see something, when you put it in the shop, you, you, if it's something that can, that can last, don't worry about it. You know, just make a note that, hey, I need when it goes to the shop, they need to take a look at this, you know. And, but if it's not, then uh, something they can last. Then, then get it in the shop and get it fixed. So it won't cost you more time and more money by breaking down on the highway, you know. But that's it, man. That's my time. Hey, um, tell y'all like this, man. Again, uh, we starting the new year. Get out here, run. Y'all be safe out there. The weather. Uh, I, I, my last video, I think, was the inclement weather. Y'all, man, y'all know that uh, the weather's getting bad out here, so slow it down. Take care of yourself, because the most important thing is that you get back home to your family. You know, again, if y'all have not, go ahead and uh, subscribe, hit the like button, share it, comment, do what you do. Your boys out here pulling away. We pull away, bro. Just remember that. God bless y'all, and y'all take care.